good morning students i am professor gd padil assistant professor department of processing and food engineering in kk college of agriculture engineering and technology so today we are going to study on planning of farm state and their design this is important topic in our subject agriculture structure storage engineering and environmental control course code of our subject fsc 55 and course credit 2 plus 1 okay the important first the planning of farm state first is location of farm state as per the management point of view the farm state should be located near the center of the farm or in the middle of the long side however this arrangement is possible only in large farms where the farm laborers also live near the farm state otherwise the farm state becomes very much isolated means this is important for this is the management by farmers okay in generally near the laborers live near the farm side okay so this is important for farmers location at one side or even at corner near the road is always helpful in procuring the farm supplies and in disposing of farm produce this will facilitate better social life and production also common water supply arrangement and other convenience okay also a site having high elevation and good natural drainage should be selected the farm state should be located near a source of permanent water supply means that is advantage of an existing well can be taken while deciding the farm state location sites which have trees around all around will provide protection against high wind velocity and dust storms and will provide site for human beings and animals this is important for farm state I mean generally site having high elevation and good natural drainage also near the source of permanent water supply so advantage of existing wells can be taken while deciding the farm state location also site which have trees around that will provide protection against heavy velocities and dust storms also provide shade for human beings and animals the size and arrangement of the farm state the farm state area is occupied by residential buildings storage buildings dairy barn bullock shed poultry houses and other sub buildings also threshing yard roads okay so these are usually varies from 3 to 5 percent of the farm area the farmstead areas occupied generally 3 to 5 percent of the farm area including residence buildings tourist buildings pool sets dairy barns poultry houses fishing yard roads and other service buildings okay the important part in important structure on the farm state is the residence buildings so this is the heart of farm state Residency building should be located away from the cattle shed or the buildings. This will ensure privacy and reduce the noise and flies and smell coming from the dairy barn. Residents and animals houses should be so located that the prevailing wind will not blow from the animal houses to the residence. Various buildings are arranged to provide the minimum walking from one to other in doing the required work. Also, the silo pits and field storages should be located near the animal shelter. The milk room or milk house is generally placed about 6 meter away from the barn. So this is important for farm state. In general, residential and animal houses should be so located that the prevailing wind will not blow from the animal houses to the residence. This to protect from bad smells from the dairy barns. Also, various buildings are arranged to provide the minimum walking distance from one to other. Okay, is doing easy doing work. Also, silo pits and fish storage should be located near the animal shelters. Okay, and milking house is generally about six meter away from the barn. Also, important is layout. The layout of farmstead should allow for possible future extension of buildings. Care should be given in designing the buildings to get maximum convenience without much additional cost of construction. Necessary ornamentation or carving on the buildings does not add to the convenience and all the hand in one's extra expenditure okay so this is also important in the planning of farm state means layout layout is important for farm state that should allow for possible future extension of buildings okay the next topic is planning of farm residence the so generally the residence of buildings on a farm is the heart of the farm state it should be so designed and constructed that the owner has the satisfaction of staying in the most comfortable and attractive place. Also, for social life, place of health, comfort, happiness, 
of the entire family in all stages and walk of life. It must provide convenience for all the life activities. There must be places for cooking, dining, sleeping, study, guest and other special requirements to take maximum advantage of sunlight also residential buildings. Also face of the residential building should be south or north facing the residence onto the main road and rivers or streams in other desirable feature for farm residents. So generally far seen the traditional designs village houses have the following defects construction is unsatisfactory and not waterproof windows are too small rooms are too small so kitchens are not properly constructed to remove the smoke so animals are also kept in or around the houses or surroundings are often used as a waste disposal place but so these are defects in traditional designs of village houses okay the good house should have the following facilities kutle kutle facilities as the good house is made the first facility is bedrooms numbers depends on the size of the family then one and does both for seating out and housework kitchens with good ventilation also food grain store fuel store animal shelter also provided animal fodder store also present latrine community and bathing place also provided in good houses sitting room kam dalan also there open space inside outside the house well enclosed for social gatherings space for bagas flat and slurry dump also there space for kitchen garden space for washing purpose space for farm tools and machine storages okay so these facilities in <coughs> good houses okay improved farmhouse design okay the so generally farmhouse should be designed to provide maximum utility and comfort the various rooms should be so located as to provide adequate comfort and minimum time and energy wastage in going from one to other the first important part of the house is bedroom so typically bedroom of 3.6 into 3 meter will accommodate two single beds of 1 into 2 meter okay the also provided cross ventilation with one side exposed to the prevailing breeze is a desirable feature in design every bedroom should be provided with attached toilet facilities should be important also should have independent access to the common toilet room okay so some storage space is essential in every bedroom the first important design for bedroom the typically size of bedroom is 3.6 by 3 meter will accommodate two single beds of 1 by 2 meter okay also cross ventilation provided for prevailing breeze this is a desirable feature design also every bedroom should provided with attached toilet facilities or should have independent access to the common toilet this is important for improved farmhouse design also some storage space is essential in every bedroom so this figure floor plan of the farmhouse in generally main block area 59 meter square side area is 20 meter square total area is 79 meter square direct total 2.1 meter square means 2 meter square total area is 77 meter square so this is verandas bedroom living room dining verandas store room near the kitchens then cooking platform then bath and then toilet facilities so provided so this is the floor plan of the farmhouse next is a drawing room the drawing room is generally serve as a room for recreation and social gathering okay so this is important part of the improved farmhouse the minimum size of the drawing room is 4.5 by 3.6 meter but some people prefer to have one large room of about 6 by 4.5 meter to serve as a drawing room or dining room the drawing room is best suited to be on one side of the house and should generally open into the front porch kitchen and bedroom also walls facing the drawing room should have plenty of provision for natural light and ventilation so this is the important design for improved farmhouse then next kitchen kitchen is preferably placed near the living room but away from the bedrooms so this is important for kitchen it should be equipped with a sink and many built in racks for storage of utensils and supply floor space of kitchen usually varies from 9.3 to 14 meter square 
showrooms and the storage spaces should be attached fewer storage spaces should be attached to the each this is also important design for kitchen then besides a large side chimney to carry out the smoke from the built-in cook so the kitchen should have cross ventilation also provided one of the windows and door must directly open to the kitchen garden okay means easily collect the visitables as per their need okay the kitchen must have an eastern location if possible so that the rays of morning sun can provide adequate light to kitchen also LPG in rural areas have made considerable difference in the design and layout of kitchen in villages means as per the Availability of LPG in rural areas, the considerable difference in the design and layout of the kitchen villages. Also, where the gas stoves are not being used, improved firewood chulas are being introduced in the design. Okay. Then toilet rooms. So this is important design in improved farmhouses. The for Indian families, both bathroom and lavatory should usually be separated. In the bathroom provision should be made for both a shower and a direct tap bath so generally seen the bathroom and lavatory should be usually be separated okay also provided in bathroom provision should be made for both shower and direct tap bath if the water supply is not maintained throughout the day and night a small water reservoir may be part of the bathroom also hanger for towels and racks for show are very useful also for the lavatory a flush arrangement is essential in lavatory so this is important design for improved farmhouse then storeroom storeroom should be situated near the kitchen for small family storeroom about 3 by 1.8 meter is adequate also it should be provided with rows of shelves on all sides this is important design for improved farmhouse then guest room the guest room should open only to the drawing room and front veranda and must have an independent across to the common toilet room unless a special toilet room is attached to it okay the common size of guest room is 3.6 by 3 meter generally bedroom and guest room same size okay the so generally drawing room open to guest room okay I mean generally guest room should open only to the drawing room and front veranda also provided Independent access to the common toilet. Then doors and windows. The generally preferred double lip doors and windows. Okay. The doors used in the living and bedroom should be 2.1 by 0.9 meter, whereas those of the kitchen and bathrooms may be about 2 by 0.75 meter. Wooden doors frames with only three pieces of 10.5 by 0.75 centimeter size each are preferred to steel frames. The window dimension generally preferred is 1.2 by 0.9 meter with double pans on it. The bottom of window is at 0.75 meter above the floor surface. So the, the tops of all windows are at the same height as that of the doors. So this is important design for doors and windows in improved farmhouse. Also the wooden frame is made of 10 by 7.5 centimeter cross section. Doors and windows in many places in India are provided with wire mesh to keep the flies out of the room. Then you have seen is wire mesh provided to doors and windows in many places in India to keep the flies out of the room. Okay. Thank you guys. This topic is over. So this is important topic of our subject planning of farmstead and their design. Okay. So thank you so much.